Good morning everybody, this is now the part 2 of our second day Dialogues Evo training. So we are going to open now our Dialogues software. So click this Dialogues Evo icon and then we will open it and import our CAD file. So go and directly import the Dialogues file, press this one. And then it will ask you your uh, Dialogues file. So I save it here and then I will open the site plan for Dialogues and I will import it. And now it is imported and make sure that the scale is correct. So we, we already checked that the, the scale is in meters. Make sure that you check your scale because this is the most important part before you start your designing. Most of the lighting designers missed this one and that's why they made a wrong calculation or uh, wrong buildup of their building because they forgot to check the, the scale. So make sure it's in the 2D so it will be flat. And I will show you the difference between the clean a clean CAD file and not clean CAD file when you insert it in your in your Dialogs Evo. For, um, let me close this one for a while and let's import the drawing that has that is that is not been cleaned yet. So I will click this one and open. So I'm now inserting the CAD file which is not been cleaned. And you see that nothing is there. It's, and the, the CAD file is too small. And you when when you zoom it all, see, you know that the 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 drawing is so far from the x and y axis because there is one little drawing over here, and this is the x and y axis. So what if there are other drawings around it and uh, the original drawing is so far from the x and y axis then you'll get confused and you will be shocked why your CAD file is not there and you cannot find it so make sure that you clean your CAD file first before importing it in your dialog Evo. so we will now close this one and delete it because it's not clean file and now we will open the original uh, site plan and now see when we zoom extend it, now it's here. So, okay. Now that you know that the, the importance of having a clean CAD file before importing it into Dialogs Evo. Now we will insert the elevation views. Actually, we can insert it later, but I want to insert it now. And then again, see, um, the site development plan is properly scaled already. We, we already choose the meters and see the Elevation views and section views are very small because they are not yet properly scaled. So we will click this tab, the elevation tab, and then select again the meters scale. And now it's here and I think it's correct. And you can move the drawing from somewhere else so it will not overlap the other drawing. Click the move drawing and then you can move it like that. So now we have our section and elevation views and the site development plan views in our Dialux Evo file. Okay, on the next tutorial, uh, we will discuss on how to build the site development plan. Okay, so let's close this now, this 2D, because we will not using it for now. And let's focus on the site development, because we're going to start our site development design. So this is the final design that we need to achieve and you can see that I have created the road, the pathway, the pathwalk, the grassland and even the fence of the building and also the contours. I also put some bus there and other cars and you can see that uh, everything is built up and these are all objects and we need to build this one one by one to to have a good landscaping design and site development. You can actually design your project inside the perimeter of your project, but uh, it's better to have a uh, connection with the outside like this road and the pathwalk. It's, it's better to add it one, so it, your design will be much better, yeah, and it's much better. So let's go now and start working on this pathwalk and road and fence and contour design using the object this object command okay so this is the, the 
the file that we inserted, the CAD file that we imported to this Dialux Evo. And now we'll start building our site development plan. So let's go first to our command, the, the second tab on your uh, left side and the vertical. Press the side tab and then select the draw rectangular floor element. Let's just imagine that uh, we will set our land in this border. You can, you can uh, adjust it if you like later on. And then now we will start building our road and also some uh, features on the landscaping. So, okay. For example, we want to start on this road area. Go and click this furniture and objects and then select this, um, click this select tab and then select the extrusion volume and then draw extrusion uh, body and then once you selected that one go and draw your first path walk one by one scroll your mouse so you can go closely to your screen and then draw it in detail if you like and now we build our first path walk so the, the default height of the extrusion volume is 1 meter and since the pathwalk is only 10 centi or 15 centi in, in, re, in real life, so we can make this one as 0 0.10 or 0 0.15. So let's just make it 0.10. So now this is 0.10. This is the pathwalk. Now let's go back to the top view and create this little pathwalk in front. Now, you, can, you don't need to select um, this tab. There's a shortcut. This is the extrusion body uh, tab here. Select this one and then click the extrusion body again. And then you may now click your pathwalk and draw it. This new additional tab is um, additional with the new version of Dialux Evo because in the previous um, version, it's not there. So it's good. So we will make it again as 0.1. Make sure the height is 0.1 because that is the pathway. And of course, if we go and check the fence, so see the, the, there is a fence here. Um, okay, we will assume that the fence is like 2 meters high. So let's go and create the fence. So again, select extrusion volume body and then click on the fence. Yeah, zoom your mouse and you can edit it later if you made something, uh, you made an error. Then be patient on uh, putting up points on the arches or arcs. Because the more the, the, the more the, the, the more you put the points, the softer the arch or curve is. So let's go and do that. One by one here. And then go and cut it here. I don't know whether where there's a line here. Maybe it's just a drawing error. So let's go and extend it here and then go back. So be patient because the more detail you put in your Dialux Evo design, if you made a mistake like, like this one, just press the um, undo button and then it will go back to new up. A new point okay and then select and then keep on selecting the lines and the curve until you finish the wall perimeter so I told you that this is two meters high and later we will indicate the height of this wall and now we're done and we will Right click and close polygon. See this one is not on the line, so just right click on this object and edit the polygon and then adjust it. Okay, and now we will change the height into, because the default is 1 meter, we will make it 2 meters. Alright, so we created the padlock and the walls for the fence. And so next time, you just keep continued working with the other side of the road. 
so many so you have to be very patient to continue working on it and then later we will do the contour for the landscaping